Fantastic. Ibrahim. 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 Um, you have to have, you have the YouTube app, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So do this. I'm going to make you a moderator on the thing. Okay, fantastic. Uh, yeah, uh, it's still on private. Sammy, move the cameras around so we know. Yes, fantastic. Great job. Great job, Sammy. Great job. Alhamdulillah. Fantastic, Sammy. MashaAllah, barakallah. MashaAllah. Hey, MashaAllah. Brother Adam over here doing his thing. Let's go. Okay, Bismillah. We're ready to go. All right, boys. We're ready to go. Sammy, you good? Okay, Bismillah. Okay, it's about to go live right now, okay? It's about to go public. I'll tell you in a second. Bismillah. Okay, we're public now officially, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Okay? Yeah, hold on, hold on, give it a second. Takes a minute. Yes, sir. It's there now. Just say a comment right now, um, Ibrahim. <laughs> say a comment, please, so I can make you a moderator. <laughs> okay, we've worked on the audio. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Just refresh. <laughs> make a comment so I can just uh, get you right now. <laughs> Ibrahim, could you make a comment, please? Leave a comment. Thank you. You're welcome, boss. Say something, and I'm gonna make you a thing. I'll make you a moderator. Yep, there we go. You are. I think you're already a moderator. Yeah, you're 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 a moderator already, bro. Bismillah. Oh, I'm already moderating. Yeah, Bismillah. Okay, Salamu alaikum, guys. Alhamdulillah, brother Adam. Okay, I, I hope you understand. You have a podcast of your own. Alhamdulillah. I just started it with my brother and a friend. Yeah, how's that going? Honestly, it was more of a entertaining podcast. Is it? It's it's an entertaining podcast with a with a pinch of seriousness. Okay. I realized uh, maybe after the war, things yes. started getting a bit more serious. Uh huh. People started moving away from any reminders that are yes. heavy yes. so I'm like okay listen we gotta give the da'wah the way people want the da'wah people are gonna say we sound stupid half the time I agree but it's just about that pinch of da'wah yeah, and it's authentic you know it's a brother and a good friend yeah yeah I grew up with him I grew up so yes. we're your best friends alhamdulillah yeah good friend alhamdulillah so first of all assalamu alaikum it's finally nice to meet you in person yeah alhamdulillah people don't realize we just met like Five minutes ago. Yes, people don't realize exactly. People are not going to see this right now. We I actually just met Brother Adam right now for the very first time ever in my life. Alhamdulillah. But we've been good friends. Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah following yes, each other yes, for a minute yes, now. Yes, yes. But alhamdulillah. I've been following you for a longer time. Really? I'm talking about the days of the Chronicles of Faith days. Yes, you you told me about this a while ago. Also. Chronicles of Faith. Yeah, brother. I used to have a group with a couple of guys. Yes. But you know, actually, interestingly enough, when I started TikTok, I was yes. about to do Chronicles of Faith Part 2, but just individual. Got you. Do my own skits, stuff like that. And then I realized that um, there was nobody doing serious reminders on TikTok. That's how early I came on TikTok. Wow. Not a single Dawa page. Then I'm really? Like, that, I, so what, what, what year are we talking about? 2019, 20? Like beginning pandemic. Wow. What pe- beginning. Like, okay, okay, okay. Like February is exactly, 2020. Exactly. Got you. Exactly. And then when I came on, I actually didn't start by coming on. I called a couple of shuk and I'm like, you guys should get on TikTok. Uh-huh. They all told me no. Uh-huh. Because they're like, we don't Stay know away if it's from halal, it's haram. I'm like, guys, it's the same thing as uh, uh, any other thing that you... Hey, how's it going? So, pick up the table. You can have the table. Okay, we'll, we'll be done in 20 minutes. We'll be out of your way in 20 minutes. Please. We've, we've moved once. No problem. We have no problem moving in. Just give us 20 minutes and we'll be gone. We'll be out of your way. No problem. Mark your timer. No problem. Okay? Thank you. Please. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. No past 20 minutes. No past 20 minutes. I'll set my timer. 35 after. Gotcha. 5-2. My handshake needs something. Um, 
All right, brother, you see what it is right now. Yeah, this is well, actually well. what we have to deal with. So just so you know, one of our permits didn't come through on time because mm. we usually have permits for this, and mm. we're sitting over there. So we had to move things like right on the fly, alhamdulillah, but we still made it happen. Yeah. We have a very special guest. And when I say very special, I really, truly mean it, brother Adam. I've been a, a fan of your work for a very long time, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. And uh, I just think that it's great what you're doing on social media, my brother. You know, if you want me to be honest and... And I'm gonna have to compliment you a bit. Oh yeah, I don't like. That's why I was doing it. You know, for those you. of you, I was trying to fish for some comments. You know, sometimes I look at uh, which content creator is taking the dawa to the next level, and uh -huh. I have to admit, it's you're you like so? either one or two up there, bro. Mashallah. Mashallah. And I mean like fully halal. I don't just mean you're a Muslim yes. that's doing things. I'm saying yes. like there's a lot of Muslims sure, that do things. Sure. I believe you're actually one of the first or the second of Muslims that goes out of his way. When I look at your videos, I always get upset that it doesn't have more views. Mashallah, and Allah. I'm like subhanAllah, if you do it, did it in the haram, you would be super, a lot you, more popular. You know, you know that's what it is, right? I've, I've realized is that the haram is just so much more easier, right? It is easier. It is. And um, I'm surprised there's not much more people blowing up because the haram, they don't know about anything. And I, I genuinely believe that, look, like, if I had these ideas in the haram way, I think I'd be passing these guys as well too. But alhamdulillah, Allah has wired my brain to so it's halal. Alhamdulillah. You know, at the end of the day, it's like anything. The haram money is easier than yes. the halal money. The haram fame is easier than the halal fame. But nothing is worth it. It it's is not. It's never going to be worth it. You're never going to want to sacrifice this yeah. for that. And yeah. what becomes almost impossible is to start off on the haram. And then come back to the yes, halal. Yes. I find that so that hard. That makes it very different. And we've seen we've seen content creators, Muslim content creators, who started off like halal, right? Like making uh, Arab parents pranks and things like that. But then, you know what I realized, brother Adan, that when your intentions—I don't know anyone's intentions, but I'm speaking from my personal, my use myself, my brother Adan. Uh, I know there's a lot of sensory stuff to take in right now because you're in Times Square. When was the last time you came to New York? Two months ago, actually. Oh, okay. Why my wife? Uh, she's European, so she that like New York is really blasted in movies, right? Uh -huh. So she wanted to pass here, so we passed here through a, on our way to Baltimore to an Islamic Alhamdulillah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of like uh, sensory stuff happening. You asked a question before I go back to my uh, uh, social media rant, right? Uh, about how this whole thing works. So we realized so with the dawa. You know, you see your traditional things by the Adel, right? With uh, a table, with Qur'ans on the table. Well, oh, great, needed, fantastic, right? 100%. What we usually do is we don't even have tables. We go around and just interview people what you've seen. That's how we usually do it. You, you know what it is? It's uh, to get out of your comfort zone. Yes. That's the one thing I have to give it to you. Because a lot of things are not just impossible to do. You don't uh -huh. actually have this magic power. Like mm -hmm. I'm sure people are watching your videos going like, Oh, this guy has this and that. You don't. You're just doing it. <laughs> you're, you're just doing it, really. Right, like, yeah. Like, you're just getting out there. It might be a bit embarrassing sometimes. Yeah. You're like, you know you what? You might have cops come to you and tell you, you got to move live on a podcast. 100%. With the, with the famous brother Adil embarrassing me. But it's okay. We do this for the sake of Allah. Alhamdulillah. 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 And that's what's amazing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, giving da'wah is one of those things that always forces you to remain humble. You are yeah. always going to remain a nobody. Yes. And, and, and that's good. That's good. And I and again, I do really, really love your work and love what you're Appreciate doing. Appreciate it, bro. Just look ahead. You know, saying to that point, you know, about humility and the Tao work and all that sort of stuff, I found it that when it comes to content creation now, a lot of people want to get into the Tao stuff because sometimes they find it as a means of content creation. I'm not here to judge anyone's heart or their sincerity, but I feel like that's also becoming a trend where, you know, I want to start giving reminders and stuff like that. And that's well and good. Like, we need more reminders out there, but I feel like as a content creator, intention is so important. How do you, like for our audience watching, listening in, how do you usually realign your intentions, so to speak? Uh, the, the way that is advised by the Prophet, peace be upon him, oh, when the Muslims remember. just became, just converted to Islam, uh -huh. What did the Prophet, peace be upon him, do? He paired them up. Oh. Because one of the things we, we actually don't even realize the Quran tells us. When Musa, alayhi salam, Allah tells him to become a prophet. Okay. He says, send with me my brother. Ah. Why? He yeah. says, Kainu sabiha kathira. What is tasbih? Tasbih is to know the, your imperfections by re recognizing Allah's perfection. My, my brother, we have Brother Adahil quoting Quran right now. You guys are in the tree. MashaAllah, continue. And what's so beautiful is when you are alone, you're always the hero. You always win the debates when you're in your shower alone. Ah, ah. Good but point. when you Good point. tell your friends that business idea, when you vocalize it, they're like, that's a bad idea. Yeah. That was, you're not actually so great. Yeah. 
Kane. I want to start. I want to start a street podcast where we in the middle of the street start a pod. That's a stupid idea, SQ. Uh huh. <laughs> but that's that's what I mean. Like, or the opposite. Your brothers are. What did the prophet peace be upon him says? A brother's a mirror. Yes. He did. A mirror doesn't over exaggerate. Yes. Nor does it under undervalue you. It's if you have a it dent, is. it's like yo, it's disgusting. Yes. If it's clean, it doesn't make you feel like you're better. Uh huh. Uh huh. So the way I kept. Is having my brothers around me. Uh-huh. I have my, I have good friends that are in social media. Yes. If they tell me to delete a video, I don't even. I, I delete. Then I ask because what you, you think, why. you know you trust their opinions. I think a lot of people don't realize this, brother Adel. But when you're in the social media space, right, where you have so much uh, feedback happening all the time, all the time, all the time, right? Comments, thousands of comments. So many people just want to vocalize their opinions. Some are good, some are bad. It's really important to tune out everything, to be honest with you, you know? And you have to have a tight inner circle who you do tune into and you listen to. You, you, do, you, you maybe for sure have feel, uh, felt this, but people get shy when you get more popular. Hmm. And the thing is, that is very bad for you. Because mm-hmm. if somebody's shy to tell you what you're doing is wrong, yeah. nobody's ever telling you what you're doing yes. is wrong. Now, yes. everybody always assume you're supposed to know everything. Yes. You're never going to know Or everything. do it right. Yes. Yeah, you're not. Yes. But the thing is, actually, the, the importance of having people that are not shy from you, are not embarrassed of your fame, don't care about your fame, they don't need anything. Yeah. I find that is super important. Mm. You know what's so interesting, right? And and you mentioned a really good point about Nasiha, because I think that's what this all mm. ties down to. It comes down to just Nasiha mm. and having the right type of circle of friends and team around you. As you can see, these are all my brothers over Masha here. Allah, uh, you know, if work. I was going to do something, I think they would be the first people to say, like, hey, don't do that stupid. My family's always tuned in to me uh, about what's going on, alhamdulillah. And uh, honestly, like you have a podcast, as you mentioned, and everyone should definitely just check out your podcast. But besides that, you know how much work this takes for a podcast 100%. in a studio setting. Imagine. 100%. 100%. You know? So going back to the Nasiha thing, I remember there was a brother who did something um, that was kind of like, you know, like, hey, oh. you know. And um, a lot of people say, but I'm not, I'm not the role model. I'm not a die. Mm. Actually, no. I think once you start that account and you sign up and you get your account verified and you have all that stuff, you are giving da'wah. You might not like to be called a da'i, but you are giving da'wah no matter what. What do you think? You know, one thing that I realize is once people, people, first of all, it's always like this. When you start off, nobody supports you. Uh And if you do get the support, always, everybody always has an idea what you should be doing. Yes. And I always tell them, listen, again, like I said, you have nothing special. There's nothing that you have special except that you're doing the work. All I'm saying is you should be doing the work yourself. Don't tell me what to do. That's easy. Yes. That's an actually an scapegoat. Yes. Either you shouldn't yes. or you should. Yes. Don't do that. Step up yourself. Go. Do something. Like yeah. when I did that podcast, I know half of it is jokes. People are like, uh-huh. you're joking. People are dying. I'm like, I uh-huh. don't see your podcast. Yes. I, my podcast has 400 followers right now. Uh-huh. Brand new. Start yes. from zero. Yes. Inshallah, when it hits the... Inshallah. You're going to be like, Inshallah. oh, well, look, how, how dare you do that? Yeah. Like, I started at zero. Too. Yes. Yes. I just did the work. Yes. You do it. Don't tell me what to do. That's easy. Yes. Do it. Yes. Doing the work is always difficult because it's easy to blame people mm. and find fault and, mm. and call people for your failures because it's easy. It's not easy to see the amount of work that Brother Adam has 100%. to put in to make a successful podcast, right? 100%. To get the conversation flowing or to see something like this. It's easier to just blame and say, oh, he's insincere or people are 100%. dying and why are you making jokes? 100%. Or anything like... Oh, oh, why, why are you talking to this person? Why aren't you talking to this person? Yes. Oh, like, it's always, and unfortunately, unfortunately, we, we don't really support each other until yes. the non Muslim supports us. Yes. Which is weird. It's, yes. I've noticed that too. Yes. Like, if the non Muslim supports and they're like, oh, look at this Muslim, yes. oh, he's, he, we like him, everyone's yes. like, yeah, he's a Muslim. Yeah. But until the non Muslim likes us, the Muslims are. That's a complex, that, right? And that, that just, that's a form. That's from our years of colonialism, you know, and uh, that immigrant mindset where, you know, y- you know, when we were doing Tarawi in Times Square, that's uh, officially Mashallah. permitted and everything. A lot of people think that we set it up like this. We don't. We actually have proper permits and everything. And that's done all the way down there, like the main, main, main part. Right. People are just uh, looking at you and just like, hey, that's a that's a stupid, stupid thing that you're doing. Why are you doing this? Judging your reasoning, judging your intentions, uh, making up false intentions about you as well, too. But what's interesting about it is that we've been giving dawah before the cameras were ever on. We were doing this, my 100%. brother. We were, we were getting spat on by people who said we don't want to quarrel. We were getting yelled oh. at. We were getting into confrontations before YouTube was a thing. 
You know, everybody before, says Instagram to me, I want to start giving dawah online because I go live, I give dawah for dawah. Yes. And, alhamdulillah, we get shahadas like every week. Alhamdulillah. People are like, I want to start doing that. I'm like, bro, do it with the cameras off. Like, yes. I didn't start. Yes. The reason I started social media was yeah. because it was COVID and I couldn't give street uh-huh, dawah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I literally uh-huh. couldn't give street uh-huh. dawah anymore. So I'm like, yes. you know what? Let me go yes. get some dawah yes. online. Yes. I didn't start online because it is so dangerous yes. to start online. Yes. It is so dangerous. It plays with your mind. Even when you, even until today, by the way, we, it plays with our minds. Yes. When you see a video failing or a video doing well, when wow. you shahada, you're that's like, a, oh, wow, that's look a, at a, me. Very, that's a very authentic claim of yours, Brother Adel, because it would be foolish to think that we're not paying attention to the amount of engagements or the things that are happening. And it doesn't make you disingenuous or, you know, just insincere for looking at your numbers because at the end of the day, you're trying to perform. 100%. And, and we want the da'wah to go far and wide and we want this deen to enter every single household. I well, how can it enter every household when you're not tying your camel, when you're not doing things with Hassan? You want to make sure that, you know, things look beautiful and things are being done to the proper amount. It, it, it scares me the level of, uh, unfortunately, of Muslims that are so against da'wah too. I uh-huh. think this is another extreme that people don't even realize. Recently, I got a, a, a message when I was giving da'wah and somebody said, how dare you judge this person that's a non-Muslim? This actually in Islam brings you to hell. I was like, oh, that's wow. crazy. I'm like, wow. I'm like, this is some new rulings even I never used wow. to hear before. Crazy, like, isn't it? Like people say that because you're saying that this kafir is not guided, you're misguided. Wow. And I'm like, oh, this is very interesting. Like, yeah. I don't care. I don't yeah. value this. We have teachers for a reason. Yes. I don't value it, but it's not interesting to hear people's perspective. SubhanAllah. And, and you know what? There's a big culture of, like, you know, do not judge me kind of vibes happening around. And once again, going back to the mirror, right? I do believe that Nasiha has to come from a good place. I, and you can't trust everyone's Nasiha. But it is also upon you to consider it just a little bit, with a grain of salt even. But you should consider it. I want to go back to that story I was telling you, right? Um, and I feel like right now there's a big culture of, you know, not giving that uh, nasiha. But nasiha is one of those things that has to come from a good place. And if let's suppose there's something that you're doing that requires some nasiha, I don't believe that I am the one that has to give you that nasiha. I think that let's suppose I'm cool with your brother who I see over there, mashallah, barakallah, right? Uh, he, he's made it. And if I'm cool with him, I think that, and he has a good relationship with you, I think it would be more wise for me to just first find out, hey, is everything okay with Brother Adel? Like, you know, he was saying that maybe I misunderstood something. Maybe maybe my understanding of what you said was wrong, and I just heard a clip of it, or I didn't watch the full context of it, right? First, let me find out, get to the bottom of it, make some excuses for my brother first. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, There is a condition to reminding if the reminder benefits. Yes. If I actually want khair for SQ, I do what I could do for him to, to benefit from what I told him. Uh-huh. If you know that my brother telling me is mm-hmm. better for me, and uh-huh. it's actually going to come to the heart, yes. you don't need to play the superhero yes. every time. You yeah. don't need to be... Uh, the, again, the main character syndrome. Yes. Everybody wants the one who changes the world. Yes. Sometimes you can be the background guy. You yes. can tell my brother, yes. and then my brother told me, and you get this re- reward. The Prophet says, the one who leads to good is like the one who's, who's done uh-huh. it. So it's, Nasih has also a double edged sword. People yeah. use it to attack yes. all the time. Yes. People actually use Nasih in a way to, to, to humiliate. To embarrass. And to raise themselves up and yes. to say that I did I'm it. And, and also is, I'm better. This is this is so an an uh, virtue signal, right? This is such a trap of shaitan because we want to get the credit for the nasiha and we want to get the credit that I gave him the nasiha. It's like almost you're doing it for a selfish purpose rather than a selfless purpose of helping the brother out. Hundred percent, a hundred percent. One of the, one of the major issues that I find, especially with social media. Is people don't think that they're accountable for what they say online. Uh huh. And they're 100% accountable. Yes, of course. And it lives on. 100%. Yeah. So, no, but like I'm saying even lesser than that. Just writing a comment. Sure. I think there is no accountability for saying something disgusting to your brother online because wow. it's just a comment. Hey, but yeah. It's, it's not. It is accountable. Yes. There's a reason. So, like, it's when we say you're accountable for your tongue, we mean everything you say or do, you are yes. accountable for. Yes. It. And people don't see that. Yes. People don't say people who say the most vile things to their brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. They will never say it in their face, mm-hmm. but they'll say it online because they're behind the screen. You know, going to the Nasiha point that you're mentioning, brother, and about saying it to your face or not, I also feel like some people have positioned themselves in a way that they're not approachable to even say that 
hey, that's incorrect because mm. I don't want to come off as a hater to you. And the second thing is this, like I have never said anything to you. Let's suppose I've never messaged you. I've never spoken to you. My first interaction with you is me correcting you about mm. something. You get what I'm saying? I think that the first thing that we need to do is we need to establish a type of relationship that is, doesn't start with just Nasiha, first of all, right? I because agree. if we look at, you know, people want to often compare this to the companions of Rasulullah oh, and say, hey, but the companions would give Nasiha to each other all the time. But they went to war together, right? They spent intimate moments together in the trenches, uh, starving together, in famines together. If my brother's going to tell me something, oh, best believe, 100%. I'm not going to say it with any shyness, and I'm going to listen to it 100%. 100%. But brother Adel, if my first interaction with you ever, of us following each other for years, has been, yo, brother Adel, when you was wearing that ring, it was also, it was actually in your middle finger, and, uh, you know, Rasulullah saw some told us not to wear the middle finger. I need to also judge, well, is that the best first interaction to have with you yes we shouldn't be having in the middle finger but is that the most like is that the most apparent thing right now in the dean that I need to fix of this brother right now or can I mention this a bit later on it's not like you're praying incorrectly or 100%. something like I remember someone once advised me because my nose when, when I started learning about Islam my nose wasn't touching the ground imagine if he never did where would I be you, you know nasiha is the da'wah to Muslims right uh -huh. we talk about da'wah when you're giving da'wah to somebody you Unfortunately, even Dawa got sidetracked by humiliation, right? Sure, you want to sure. humiliate the person. I've well, never, that's I've, so true. I've never given shahada to somebody I humiliated. I'm wow. just going to tell you the truth. Yeah. I've just never. And no one would ever listen to you. Well, why? Like, yeah. if I say you're you're stupid. Yes. You're like, oh, I oh, shut off immediately. Uh, nobody is. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, one of my teachers that ta taught me about Dawa, he says, if I took rock on the ground. Is it 35? Five more minutes. Oh, yeah. I, I have my timer. I have my timer on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Perfect. I said, like, even if you had sand in your hand, that is worthless. And I say, give it to me. Yes. And I say it aggressively. You'll hide the sand. But like, well, whoa, why? Whoa, yeah. Why? why? Like, absolutely. Like, well, what do you need my sand for? Yes. It's worthless. Yes. But because I'm so aggressive, yes. I'm so. What if I said to you, hey, listen, I'm about to give you a diamond ring. Just let go of that uselessness in your hand. Uh -huh. You'll be more receptive. It's just da'wah. We're aggressive. It's not see how we're aggressive. Yes. It's never been our care problem. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi legacy, his yes. number one point of coming to earth yes. after Tawheed yes. was to perfect character. Yes. Number character. one thing. It's his legacy. Yes. People build Masajid as a legacy. Yes. People build, have their faces, their names on streets as their yes. legacy. Our Prophet, peace be upon his legacy, was his other. Yes. It was a character. And, and I, I think that you mentioned a great point because... Um, as, as we do wrap this segment up and then we move to like the more street that was up because you asked me what is it that we're doing we realize something that you know you can have the tables with the Qur'ans by the Adil right and stand behind it and you know just give them out and th that's all well and good I think that's needed right just I, I have a little bit of an ADHD I move a lot I walk a lot that's just how I am you know what I mean I'm a little triggered and, 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 like, it's good like, for entertainment that's just me you know what I mean good. so what I was doing, and I know my strength is communication, just talking to people. So me approaching people just makes more sense. And when we do the Street Dawa podcast, like I said, the, the permit didn't come in correctly. There were some errors, so we had to move. Um, bro, this is a this is a, a absolute showstopper. People stop. We have people join us live, and we just like do conversations. And people are more willing to talk to you while the rest of the team are on foot. Handing out Qurans and giving them around. So even doing it now, I saw. Mashallah, yes, the Alhamdulillah. So people are going around giving out the Qurans while we do that. We just are in an unfortunate situation right now with the positioning. Alhamdulillah, but Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah bro, it this is the nice position Allah picked for us. So I'm not mad at it. Allah chooses. Allah, mashallah. Allah chooses over here. Uh, so my brother, either we had you on the podcast. Alhamdulillah. I want you to just really that that's your camera right there. That that last one with the with the boom mic on it, right? Yeah, yeah. I want you to really look at the camera right now and just, you know, what is your message right now to those who are listening and, 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 and those who are in the social media space? Just, this is your moment, my brother. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya yuhal ladheena amanu, taqu Allah haqqa tuqatihi, wa la tamukunna illa wa antum muslimun. Fear Allah, be conscious of Allah, the proper consciousness, the proper fear, and do not die except in the state of Islam. There is nothing worse than for you to lose your deen and there is nothing more astray than for you to not know who, or not fear Allah. So you live a life astray and then you complete failure if you die as a non-Muslim. So that's my actual advice. Fear Allah, be conscious of Allah, know Allah is there and don't die except that you're a Muslim. 
that's that's a beautiful reminder, my brother Adel. You know, for a second we thought we were about to give the khutbah. You know, I'm <laughs> bad. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, brother, I, I, I sincerely appreciate you traveling all the way from the other side of North America. Yes, uh, coming over here for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, joining this as well too, and uh, sharing some of your wisdom, my brother, and your personality, and just your advice for the Muslim Ummah. Alhamdulillah. I'm just uh, grateful to be part of uh, your amazing projects. That's how it's like. That, that means, uh, and I hope we catch you live right now in front of everyone, Inshallah. where we tell you that you have to come to Tarawih in Times Square, my brother. I, Inshallah, I please. I had problems. I, they let me in. That's why you invited yes. me. I could make uh-huh. it clear. He did invite me. Yes. From the first one, I, I did. I you did. You invited I me. Did. You t- told me I'll pay for your ticket. Yes, I did. Subhanallah. Okay, I don't even remember you that. Invited me, but I, I was in trouble. I couldn't Subhanallah. Even that. Subhanallah. Well, well, look, may Allah make it easy for you. Inshallah. Now you're able to come with no problems. But I'm telling you, when you're here for that, when you witness that, you'll know what I'm talking about. No picture, no video, no nothing does justice to it. Inshallah so I appreciate you, brother Abdul, taking your time out and speaking to our audience as well too. We're gonna now move this to micing you up. And we're just going to give out some Qur'ans and just talk to the people, my brother. Have a conversation with them. The real da'wah. Yes, always, my brother. May Allah swat ta'ala bless you. Thank you, my brother. Okay, brother Sammy. What we're going to do now, inshallah, we're going to mic him up and we're going to move things around right now, okay? Yeah. How are you, my brother? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Bro, it means a lot to me, huh? Yeah, you do that. No, no, you sure? We gave our word. We gave our word. We gave our word. We, our word. we, our word. we, our word. we don't want to do it like that. We don't want to do it like that. Because we're gonna have, we're gonna be good for next week in child up, and we're gonna do that. What we'll do is then.